the ever death of all? The woman who fears the Lord will hear herself be praised. Her children have called her most blessed. Her husband has sung her praises. Good morning. Good morning. Today's mass intentions are for Wilfred Diaz. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, who consoled the sorrowful and who mercifully accepted the motherly tears of St. Monica for the conversion of her son Augustine. Grant us, through the intercession of them both, that we may bitterly regret our sins and find the grace of your pardon through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We ask you, brothers and sisters, with regard to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our assembling with him, not to be shaken out of your mind suddenly, or to be alarmed either by a spirit or by an oral statement, or by a letter allegedly from us to the effect that the day of the Lord is at hand. Let no one deceive you in any way. To this end, he has also called you through our gospel to possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brothers and sisters, stand firm and hold fast to the traditions that you were taught, either by an oral statement or by a letter of others. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who has loved us and given us everlasting encouragement and good hope through his grace, Encourage your hearts and strengthen them in every good deed and word. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful in all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constant. reflections and thoughts of the heart. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy 
gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You pay tithes of mint and dill and cumin, and have neglected the weightier things of the law, judgment and mercy and fidelity. But these you should have done without neglecting the others, blind guides, who strain out the gnat and swallow the camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You cleanse the outside of cup and dish, but inside they are full of plunder and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisee, cleanse first the inside of the cup, so that the outside also may be clean. The Gospel of the Lord. is faulting the Pharisees for holding on to the things that don't matter and neglecting the things that do matter. And he says the things that do matter are mercy, judgment, and fidelity, faithfulness. And in our first reading, St. Paul tells the Thessalonians to hold firm to their faith, to the tradition that they have been taught. And St. Monica, in many ways, is the example of these two values, these values mentioned in our readings. She was faithful to the Christian faith. She was also patient and persistent, and she was pure of heart. St. Monica, although her parents were Christian, she was given in marriage to a pagan man who had some redeeming qualities, but he was also um, promiscuous and had a violent temper at times. Um, St. Augustine, I'm sorry, um, St. Monica also had uh, an argumentative, complaining mother-in-law who lived with her who she had to constantly be patient and persistent with both. But she didn't waver. She remained firm in her faith, despite her husband's um, mocking her charity and love of others and giving to others, despite them not living the same lifestyle that she was living, being Christian. She was patient and persistent. And just before her husband died, a year before his death, he converted to Christianity. And his mother-in-law, her mother-in-law, his mother, along with him. So her, her, her love, her living her Christian values paid off and it bare, it bore fruit in the life of those closest to her. But she is most known for being patient and persistent for her son, her oldest son, Augustine, who would later become Saint Augustine. But unfortunately he had kind of taken after his father, not in the temper, but in the promiscuity, in the, the, the loose lifestyle, if you will. And he was living an immoral life, so much so that Monica, St. Monica wouldn't let him live in the house. She threw him out, um, but she had a vision, and she was told in that vision that he would come back to the faith, that he would be brought back into the Christian practice. So she pursued him closely and persistently from there. One evening he lied to her, said he was going to the dock to meet a friend, and he sailed to Rome. Once she found out, she too sailed to Rome, despite the great difficulty of travel in those days. She then followed him to Milan, because when she got to Rome, she found out he wasn't there. She persisted him uh, relentlessly. Eventually, he found the care of St. Ambrose, which we'll learn more about um, on his feast day of tomorrow, um, Augustine's feast day. But her persistence paid off. Uh, she really lived the gospel value that all things are possible through Christ. And through her life, through her example, she converted souls. She gave salvation to her family. I think we all have uh, people in our lives, our family, maybe friends or work, that um, don't practice the faith, that call for our great patience and persistence to pursue them with the love of Christ. St. Monica had that deep, pure love and relationship with Jesus. And she wanted only those uh, that she loved. She wanted only to share that with those she loved. So as we celebrate her memorial today, may we too be patient and persistent so that we may um, bring salvation to those the closest to us. <clears throat> As one body in Christ, we offer the following petitions to our Lord. For our Holy Church, may the Holy Spirit encourage our hearts and strengthen them in every good deed and word. Let us pray to the Lord. 
the local civic authorities. May the Lord help them in promoting the common good with respect and dignity for the human person. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who are unemployed or underemployed, may God praise, raise up people and opportunities for providing adequate support for them and their families. Let us pray to the Lord. For our peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces, wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our archdiocese, so let us praise for the Lord. That through the intercession of Our Lady of Pramsecor, we will be spared damage to life and property during the hurricane season. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us now pause to add our own intentions in silence. We beseech you, O Lord, be with your people who cry out to you, so that when they ask at your prompting, they may obtain by your ready generosity through Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> Bless you, you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. We have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, and become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God. We bring you these sacrificial gifts, O oh Lord, to commemorate the blessed Monica, humbly entreating that they may bestow on us both pardon and salvation through Christ our Lord. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the thought of all holiness. 
Make only therefore these gifts we pray, by sending out your Spirit upon them like the new thought, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, save us, Savior. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church which spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gregory our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle, and all the saints that please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you, for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Jesus Christ, who sent you your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called from the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I have heard that you shall come out of it, but I'll just give it to her and her son. Communion Antiphon. The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant who travels in search of fine pearls and who, on finding one of great price, sold everything and bought it.
May the working of this divine sacrament enlighten and inflame us, Almighty God, on the feast day of Blessed Monica, that we may be ever fervent with her holy desires and abound in good works. Through Christ our Lord. Lord, hear us. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Say, my dear, we are